I can say. Best I can say about myself is I make it by. I have a, you know, pretty decent job that, you know, pays the bills and I have money on the side, you know. I have a pretty good living. I, I make a pretty good living for myself, but it's definitely not something to write home about. It's probably, you know, around what you would expect out of a, you know, a casual, uh, a casual Joe in America these days, you know. I'm a casual uh, guy when it comes to the money I make and the uh, you know things I buy. I do spoil myself, and you know that's the best you can do. That's the best you can do. I don't know why I'm talking about this. Uh, sorry about that. I want to see what time it was, and my phone's not with me. But uh, uh, we'll play another co-op game, and then we'll call it there. I don't know why I got talking about this stuff, but I did. That's me, you know, that's me for you. But, you know, the casual, casual guy in America, I don't know, makes 30000 a year, and I'm probably, uh, probably around that, you know. Maybe less now since I, uh, started my new job, unfortunately, but, you know, I'm probably at, like, 25000 now. I would say I make a year. Uh, we'll be someone else. We'll be, you know, this guy. Why Why the hell not? Or, you know, we'll be, uh... Be this guy. Yeah. We'll be this guy. Oh, yeah. Whew. Yeah, I'll play one more game. And uh, say that be uh, about it for today. And then tomorrow, I tomorrow I plan on doing quite a bit of gameplay uh, of two to three different games. Tomorrow, tomorrow I plan on playing a lot of Rainbow Six Siege, uh, either Battlefield One or Mass Effect Andromeda. Doing multiplayer of one or those two games, probably, probably, probably Battlefield One. Did I not make a deck for this guy? No idea. Oh, there. We'll figure it out. But, uh, yeah. Probably Battlefield 1, just because, uh, unless they fixed it. Mass Effect and Andromeda multiplayer is just so fucking glitchy and. It's, it's terrible. Last time I played it, I'm like. They totally fucked up the multiplayer. They totally fucked up the game in general. So, what am I saying? Uh, they fucked it up. But, uh... So, I'll probably play Battlefield 1. Uh, after I play... Play some Rainbow Six Siege. And, uh... Upload that. Upload Rainbow Six Siege and, uh... Battlefield 1. And, uh... And then probably, I don't know, I, I might do, I might stream a little bit of, the believe, believe it or not, I might stream a little bit of Battleborn. And then upload that, but not on Saturday, but the following day, which would be Sunday. So that's kind of the plan for tomorrow. I plan on doing quite a bit of gameplay uh, for tomorrow. So yeah. Uh, the only time I've played Battlefield, or, I'm sorry, Battleborn. The only time I've played Battleborn on, uh, you know, as I was on camera was when I did my predictions video on... I want to say it was Extreme Rules? I want to say? I don't know, I can't remember. But I actually haven't done legit, you know, gameplay commentary of Battleborn. Uh, mainly because I have a hard time finding games... Uh, most often than not, I have a hard time, unfortunately, finding games to play in Battleborn, which is very sad, and that's usually why I, you know, because I do like the game. I really enjoy Battleborn. I think it's a very underrated, very fun game hybrid, you know. It's a, it's it's like Paragon. You know, it's a MOBA, but it's also a first-person shooter game. 
or a first person melee game. It's very uh it's a very unique game. And I feel like it's very uh underrated. So I feel like, you know, it'd be uh it'd be a good idea to do some you know do some gameplay of it, you know, kinda of support the game in a way. I use that way too soon. I mean the game is, you know, more than a year it came out in May, so it's more than a year old now. So there's really not too much to the support when it comes to the game anymore because it's kind of uh you know, outdated at this point. It's uh, over a year old, so but I don't know. It, it's very sad. It, it came out at a bad time. I feel like Battleborn is just one of those games where it came out at the wrong time. Because of Overwatch, a game that was very easily compared to Battleborn was Overwatch. And obviously Overwatch, you know, you say, oh, what game is better, Battleborn or Overwatch? Obviously, you're going to say Overwatch. But Overwatch is a, you know, straightforward, straight first-person online shooter. And Battleborn is more than that. It's not just a first-person, you know, online shooter. It's also got, you know, like... Like Overwatch, it has, uh, it does have some, not really, because, uh, no, I think about it, I don't think, unless I'm an idiot, I don't even think Overwatch has any, uh, melee type characters, I, it's all shooting, so, and Battleborn's not just a straightforward, you know, online first person shooter, it's also melee, and it's also a MOBA. You know, I I love it. I love Battleborn, and it's very unfortunate that uh kind of got swept underneath the rug mainly because of Overwatch. You know, Overwatch coming out in the same month as Battleborn really really hurt Battleborn. You know, and uh you know it's kind of it's it's very upsetting and unfortunate because I was really excited for Battleborn. And when I saw gameplay of it, I was like, man, this is a really cool, interesting concept. It's like a MOBA, and you, it's not just shooting. You also have melee, you know, first-person characters. Very interesting concept. And, uh, you know, it didn't, it didn't live up to, I don't want to say the hype, because the game wasn't really hyped. I mean, it was, but not, you know, not as much as other games have been in the past, which might have been a good thing. Because, you know, games have been very overhyped in the past. You know, Watch Dogs immediately comes to mind. Uh, Titanfall, Evolve. You know, games like that. At least the first games, you know. Titanfall 2 was better. It did have a campaign. It did have some more, you know, content. More maps, more weapons. Uh, and definitely with the campaign. And then Watch Dogs 2 was definitely, definitely improved from the first game. But yeah, it's like whenever a game gets over when whenever a game gets very hyped, usually most often not, it doesn't live up to expectations. And you know, Watch Dogs and Titanfall One, you know, Watch Dogs One and Evolve are you know very uh you know very exception. There are exceptions to that, you know. Especially Evolve. Evolve. Oh my God, when Evolve came out, I was so disappointed with it. I just got, I don't know, I just got really bored really fast with, uh, with Evolve. And I feel like it didn't, like, I felt like it was a co-op game, but it wasn't. Like, it felt, Evolve felt like it should have been a co-op game like Left 4 Dead. You know, it's from the same developers, not Valve, but, you know, former developers of Valve. And I remember looking at Evolve, I'm like, oh, sweet, you know, it's gonna be a campaign game like Left 4 Dead, right? Oh, no, 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 there's no co-op in Evolve. And I felt like that was a very, very bad mistake uh, of Turtle Rock to make it a non-co-op game. And I feel like that really hurt the game, you know. I, is it Evolve, like, free-to-play now? Like, that's how... That's not good, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's not good. But at least on PC, I believe it's uh, free-to-play now. I could be wrong. I don't have it on PC, I have it on Xbox One, but it, yeah. So, you know, Battleborn definitely wasn't overhyped, but uh, if anything, I think it's underrated. Uh, 
and I felt like it didn't get. I didn't, I felt like the game didn't get its fair shake again because of Overwatch came out in the same month and definitely didn't do uh, Gearbox or 2K games any favors. But I plan on playing the game tomorrow. That's that's kind of my schedule for tomorrow. Play Rainbow Six Siege, Battlefield One, and uh, Battleborn, and then upload you know the footage of. Rainbow Six Siege and Battlefield 1 on the YouTube and then hold off until the following day which would be the Sunday to upload uh, footage of Battleborn of that here on my YouTube channel after streaming it onto my Twitch channel so yeah that's kind of uh, the plan because I don't plan on doing any gameplay footage on Sunday but at least if I play Battleborn you know I can always upload that on Sunday uh, after playing it the previous day, which will be tomorrow, that's kind of the plan for tomorrow. I, I kind of feel like I have to make up for uh, this past week. You know, I really didn't do any, uh, any gameplay footage uh, this past week at all. I went six days without uploading anything, so I kind of feel like I have to make up for that. Uh, because I care, you know. I might not have much of, uh, of any following, but... You know, I believe you know if you keep up, if you keep up with something and you put the hard work and the time, something may come along. It may not, uh, especially in this day and age on YouTube. You know, it's not, it's definitely, definitely, definitely not easy to break into the gameplay commentary scene on YouTube or on Twitch, uh, just because so many people do it. But it's like anything, you know. Just because uh, you know a lot of people wrestle, or just because a lot of people play you know football, or you know they fight in combat sports, doesn't mean that you're not gonna make it. Just because of a lot of other people do. Oh shit. So that's kind of my point of view on that. Just because a lot of other people do it, just doesn't mean that you're not gonna be able to succeed at you know what you want to do. So that's kind of how I look at it, you know. And that's why I plan on, uh, you know, continuing to do this whole, you know, Twitch and YouTube thing as long as I can. And hopefully, eventually, in time, something may come along. Nothing huge, but hopefully something may come along eventually. And I can start making at least a little bit of a profit out of it. The biggest thing for me is to get a partnership on YouTube. That's what I want. That's kind of what I'm striving for, and that's my goal. So hopefully, uh, hopefully I can make that happen over time. Get a partnership with whatever company it may be. Uh, I would prefer, I would prefer freedom, but you know, in in general, it doesn't matter. It could be, uh, it could be curse. It could be. Uh, it could be full screen, it could even be, you know, TGN or Machinima. It doesn't really matter. Or like I said, I I would prefer freedom, but that's just me. Anything that, you know, it, it doesn't matter what company really, as long as it's a company that's well known. And obviously I'm familiar with them and I'm aware of them. It doesn't, really, uh, doesn't matter what company I end up getting partnered with. If and when that does happen, you know, if. Epic. That's the biggest, uh, that's the key word is uh, if it happens. But, you know, there's a lot of things I've wanted to, I, I would have liked to done with my life. And there's a lot of things I regret not trying to do uh, in my life. Biggest one probably being uh, getting into the wrestling business. And uh, the other... Well, the other, the other main thing being this, you know. I've always wanted to do this, so I figure, you know, better late than never. Uh, wrestling is kind of, you know, that's a different story, because, you know, it's kind of, uh, it's kind of necessary that you start at a young age when getting into actually wrestling. And, uh, you know, I, I want to go to college. I would have liked to go to college, but, you know, even community college, man, it's not it's not cheap. It's not cheap, and you know if you plan on going to university these days, at least in America, forget about it. you're gonna be paying that out for the rest of your fucking life. 
and uh, yeah, I'm I'm not 